Hi everybody, this is Pastor Jonathan Shelley from Steadfast Baptist Church, and I wanted to make a video about what's happened to one of my friends, Pastor Bruce Mejia of First Works Baptist Church in El Monte, California. Uh, earlier this morning, he was, uh, his church was firebombed, and they were also vandalized. A developing story in the San Gabriel Valley. A church in El Monte was left damaged this morning after an explosion and a vandalism attack. Now a bomb squad is at this scene amid a possible threat of a second blast. KKL 9's Joy Benedict is live on Tyler Avenue near Elliott with the latest. And it's very obvious who did this. He's been protested for the last few weeks by lots of sodomites. And the news media has had a hand in this because they did a little hit piece against him and his church, basically inciting these sodomites to come and riot and to just come and distract their services and protest and attack them. And they've gone to an extreme now where they've literally uh, thrown bombs into the church building and it's being investigated. But, you know, I just want to make this video to say that I fully support Pastor Bruce Mejia and First Works Baptist Church, uh, especially on their stand against the sodomites. Uh, it's very clear in scripture and history and statistics that these sodomites, they're dangerous predators. They're pedophiles. They're some of the most evil, wicked people on the planet. The Bible says that they're full of all unrighteousness. And so uh, what we do as a, a preacher of God is just to preach what the Bible says. And it's not our opinion. It's not Pastor Bruce Mahe's opinion. It's the Bible's opinion that tells us these people are dangerous. They're predators, that they want to harm people. And so we see the manifestation of that when we just preach the word of God and just out of nowhere, they come and attack and harass us and do evil against us. And so it's time for Christians to actually stand up. It's time for Christians to take a stand and to support men like Pastor Bruce Mejia. If you're anywhere in California, you should go to his church and you should support Pastor Bruce Mejia. You should support First Works Baptist Church. Or even if you can't get there, maybe you should just donate online or send them a check or you know, email them and tell them that you support them because we need men like Pastor Bruce Mejia today and they're coming under severe persecution and this is just the beginning. And so we need to stand up and preach the truth. You know, Pastor Bruce Mejia is a great friend of mine. He actually helped us work on a documentary called The Sodomite Deception. And it's actually a documentary that's coming out this Monday exposing these sodomites, the dangerous, filthy predators that they have always been all the way from the beginning of the Bible story in Genesis 9, Genesis 19, and even Judges 19. And, you know, if you want to check out our film, you could go to our website, sodomitedeception.com, and you can watch the film. It's going to be coming out on this Monday. But more importantly, I would say, you know, you need to get in there and support Pastor Bruce Mejia, support First Works Baptist Church. We need more churches like First Works Baptist Church, not less. And we need Christians to actually stand for what the Word of God teaches, not what's comfortable, not what's convenient. You know, if you think Trump or, you know, some other person is going to be your savior, it's not. You know, we need to preach the truth and we need to be the ones that actually stand up and actually fight against these criminals, against these predators, and specifically these pedophiles. That's what these people are. And, you know, as God's people, we need to stand for the truth today. And we shouldn't be ashamed of anything that the Bible teaches. You know, the Bible tells us in Matthew 10, 28, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And so the only person we're supposed to fear is God himself. And so we need Christians to get a backbone today and to stand up and to not cower and to not be weak and lily livered, but rather to be hair legged men of God and stand on the Bible. And you need to get in a church that supports what the Bible teaches. I know there's a lot of people, they know what the Bible teaches on this doctrine, yet they decide to stay home or to cower or to just go hide. But this is not the time to hide. This is the time to come out and to support men of God, to stand on the Bible, and to be ye steadfast. Well, God bless y'all, and y'all have a great day.